Welcome. Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Zelensky on Broberry helicopter crash, every death is the result of war. In a video address at the World Economic Forum in Davos, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the helicopter crash that killed 14 people, including the top leadership of Ukraine's interior ministry, wasn't just an accident. When asked by the interviewer if he was worried about potential threats to his personal security, Zelensky responded, I'm not worried. I have nothing to add. I believe, given my experience with war and the current state of our society, that this was not an accident it was the war. War is not limited to the battlefield it has many fronts. There are no mere accidents. Everything that happens is the result of war, Zelensky said. The helicopter crashed near a kindergarten in Broveri on the morning of January 18. The top leadership of Ukraine's interior ministry, including Interior Minister Denis Monastersky, his first deputy, Yevon Yenin, and the ministry secretary, Yuri Lubkovich, died. U.S. to allocate $125 million to help Ukraine fix energy grid. The U.S. intends to provide $125 million to Ukraine to help electric repair crews in Ukraine, U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, Representative Samantha Power told the Associated Press on January 18. USAID reportedly plans to use the money to buy backup power for the Ukrainian capital's water, district heating systems, gas turbine supplies, and transformers. The current rate of electricity generation covers only three-quarters of the country's consumption, the state-owned electricity transmission system operator Ukrainergo said on January 18. The emergency shutdowns have been applied to eight regions, including Kharkiv, Donetsk, Dnipropetrovsk, Kharivorod, Zaporizhia, Kiev, Zydomir, and Cherkasy, the company added. Since the beginning of the full-scale war, Ukraine's energy system has survived 10 mass missile attacks and several unmanned aerial vehicle strikes on energy facilities. Russia also occupies Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Zaporizhia thermal power plant, Luhansk thermal power plant, Bugolherskia thermal power plant, and Kakovska hydroelectric power plant, putting a substantial strain on Ukraine's energy system. And Ukraine's foreign ministry, Russia again shows it's not interested in peace. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's rejection of President Volodymyr Zelensky's 10-point peace plan shows that Russia is not interested in peace, said Ola Nikolenko, a spokesman for Ukraine's foreign ministry. Nikolenko said that Ukraine's partners have stopped paying attention to what Russia's foreign ministry says and that the Kremlin will have to abide by the formula, like it or not. Lavrov's statement was a reaction to Zelensky's 10-point peace plan presented at the World Economic Forum in Davos by First Lady Alina Zelenska on January 17. The formula, first introduced by Zelensky in November, calls for full Russian withdrawal, the return of all prisoners and deportees, food, energy and nuclear security and justice for Russian war crimes, among other requirements.